Hello students welcome to Rushmi's classes. Today we'll discuss on Class, 11 Biology Chapter 10, Cell Cycle and Cell Division Cell Cycle Cell cycle is defined as the series of changes that a cell undergoes which results in division of cells into two daughter cells and its growth. Cell cycle is divided into two phases interphase and mitosis. The average duration of a cell completing its two phases in humans is 24 hours. Of this, the duration of mitosis is for only one hour. Therefore, the majority time of a cell cycle is spent in interphase. Interphase It is a phase in which different changes occur to prepare the cell for cell division. It is further divided into following phases. G1 phase Also called the first gap phase deals with the biosynthetic activities which occur at a very fast rate. Cell synthesizes more proteins, increasing the number of mitochondria and ribosomes. Cell also prepares itself for DNA replication. In S phase, DNA is replicated. At the end of DNA replication, each chromosome will have two sister chromatids. So the content of DNA gets doubled, but ploidy remains the same. G2 phase Where the cell prepares itself for mitosis involves protein synthesis and leads to further growth of the cell. Mitosis Called as equational division as the number of chromosomes in the daughter cell and the parent cell remains the same. It begins with nuclear division. This is known as karyokinesis. Chromosomes get distributed equally during mitosis. Only somatic cells undergo mitosis. It is divided into following phases. Prophase In prophase chromatin condenses to form chromosomes. Two identical copies of each chromosome are attached to the centromere. During the end of this phase, the nucleolus dissolves. Nuclear membrane also disintegrates at the end. The centrosome moves to the opposite poles. Spindle fibers start to appear. Metaphase Here chromosomes get aligned on the equatorial plate. It is also called metaplate. The method of analyzing the metaphase chromosomes helps in cytogenetics and cancer studies. Anaphase it is the shortest stage of the cell cycle. During this phase, the replicated chromosomes move apart and daughter chromatids move to the opposite poles. Chromosomes get condensed during the late anaphase. The chromosomes become Y-shaped while moving towards the poles on opposite sites. Telophase The end result of telophase is the formation of two daughter nuclei. Nucleolus and nuclear membrane reappear. The late telophase is marked by cytokinesis. This is the last phase of mitosis. Finally the chromosomes reach the poles. Cytokinesis The division of cytoplasm, its organelles, and membrane to form two cells is known as cytokinesis. It results in the division of a cell into two daughter cells which are identical to its parent. Importance of mitosis Produce genetically identical daughter cells. Growth of the body takes place as a result of mitosis. Cell repair and replacement also occurs as a result of mitosis. Maintenance of nucleocytoplasmic ratio Cell cycle exit Some cells divide at a fast rate whereas some divide slowly and some even do not divide once they are formed. Those cells which do not divide once formed, enter into a phase known as go phase. For example, neuronal cells once formed will not divide. Meiosis 
Meiosis is also called reductional division as it reduces the number of chromosomes in the progenies to half the parent cell. There are two types of meiosis, I and II which results in gametes such as sperm or egg. Meiosis I It is divided into following phases. Prophase I the longest phase of meiosis I where homologous chromosome pairs and DNA segments are exchanged. This process is also known as recombination. It is further divided into following. Leptotene First stage of meiosis is leptotene. Individual chromosomes subsists with two sister chromatids. Elements of synaptonemal complex assemble. Condensation and coiling of chromosomes takes place in leptotene. Zygotene Chromosomes align together as homologous pairs. Synapses of homologous chromosomes occur. The paired chromosomes are known as bivalent or tetrad due to its appearance. Pacotene Crossing over and homologous recombination occurs during pacotene stage chiasmata are X-shaped structures as a result where homologous chromosomes remain in contact. Diplotene Homologous chromosomes start to separate. Synaptonemal complex disassemble. Chromosomes remain attached to the chiasmata. Diakinesis Chromosomes condense further, so that four parts of the tetrads are visible. The nucleoli disappear, and the nuclear membrane disintegrates. Mitotic spindle starts to form. Metaphase I Homologous chromosomes remain aligned on the metaplate. The replicated chromosomes are collectively bound together with a protein known as cohesin. Anaphase I Homologous chromosomes are pulled to the opposite poles as the result of shortening of microtubules. The cohesin, protein complex, degrades from the chromosome arms and remains safe around the centromere. Thus the sister chromatids exist together while the homologs segregate. Telophase I Daughter cell contains half the number of chromosomes as compared to the parent cell. The spindle begins to disappear, which was formed of microtubules. Once again, chromosomes form chromatin. Sister chromatids remain attached together. Meiosis II Meiosis II is the second meiotic division. Similar to mitosis in process, but the genetic results are different. Products formed are four haploid cells from the two haploid cells produced in meiosis I. The four main steps of meiosis II are Prophase II Metaphase II Anaphase II Telophase II In prophase II Nucleoli and nuclear membrane disappear, shortening, and thickening of the chromatids occur. Centrosomes move to the poles and spindle fibers are formed for the second meiotic division. In metaphase II, the centromers are present with two kinetochores attached to spindle fibers from the centrosomes at opposite poles. When compared to meiosis I, the metaplate is rotated perpendicular to the previous plate by 90 degrees. Anaphase II is determined by sister chromatid segregation. The remaining protein cohesin degrades to allow segregation of sister chromatids. Telophase II, which is similar to telophase I, results in decondensation of chromosomes. Nuclear envelopes reorganize and cleavage. Cell plate formation produces four daughter cells, each with a haploid set of chromosomes. Significance of meiosis Maintenance of chromosome number generation after generation in case of sexual reproduction 
increases variation in population. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.